<laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is day two of our open house. And this morning, I'm very excited <laughs> to have on deck Jackson Burnett from Vapor Apparel. Hello, Jackson. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Doing great. Doing great. Good, good, good. All right. Well, I'm excited about this. So um, I want to thank you and the people at Vapor uh, for the prize today. Um, if you guys uh, get active in the chat, I'm going to pick two people and uh, we're going to give away a Vapor phone kit, which is an incredible incredibly good uh, piece of uh, a good product to have. So without further ado, Jackson, take it away. Great. Thank you, Sprite. Um, uh, I'm Jackson Burnett, um, president of Vapor Apparel. Um, we started the business about um, 18 years ago next week and really with a focus on um, a sublimatable garment um, for uh, the outdoor space um and and so really what we what we engineered and, and pioneered um was a, a performance apparel garment for sublimation so we have several different items and garments um for different end uses uh we have expanded into uh mid layers for, to to help expand the line into in fall and and uh cooler months so um excited to be part of the the uh the Condi uh, virtual open house. Uh, we've been working with Condi for the better part of, of 16, 17 years um, and uh, have have really made inroads. I think when we started the business, we had just white, uh, our basic performance tee shirts and rapidly expanded into um, colors, which everybody said you couldn't supplement on colors. We'll demonstrate that to you today. Many of you already know this. I'm sure there's some experts and, and veterans on this uh, on this um, presentation, and uh, we've probably got some new people as well. So some of the stuff I'll cover is probably redundant for some people. Um, for others, um, it is um, hopefully give you some some tips and tricks on on how to not only just sublimate without um, uh, without messing up as few shirts as possible. But, but also how, how to make it profitable and, and what we're doing as a brand uh, to help build value in our garments to your customers. Um, so I think the, the, uh, the best place to start is I would like to run through the line and just show you guys uh, our full line. Um, and we'll kind of talk through the history of some of it, where it is today and where we see it going in the future. So Sprite, if you wouldn't mind sharing my screen, that would be great. Let me know when I'm shared. You are shared. Great. So I'm um, just going to run you through our, our virtual catalog. This is located at wholesale.vaporapparel.com. Um, you know, first part is, is just got some about us and fabric features, but. Um, um, Jackson. Yes. Uh, all I can see is the StreamYard stream, um, so you may want to click to the catalog. Why don't I? Okay. I, 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 I'm on it. Why don't um, I unshare and reshare? Okay. Let's let yeah. Let's let's try that. How's that? Um, yeah, I still see it up. Um, can you uh, minimize the? Um, uh, can you minimize the uh, uh, streamyard part? Uh, let me see about taking this to a different browser. Um. When you when you hold on share one second, okay. let me let me um how about now? Um no, 
I can see your mouse moving. Um, is there, um, when you share this, are you, do you have multiple screens open or just one screen? One screen. Okay, is, is there any way that you can minimize the uh, StreamYard? I did. Uh -oh. So we will go off plan and um, I can show you garments and we'll run through it that way. Okay. So um, okay. let me get this back over to me. Okay. So, what we will start with is our, um, this is not exactly what I planned, but we'll go with it. Um, what I'm wearing is our solar performance tee, so I guess I'll turn to a model today. Um, this is, um, as we transformed the company, um, and we started out with some, some basic items, really for awards and custom gift, um, then we realized that the outdoor retail market, <clears throat> the fishing, the boating market, um, they wanted performance apparel too. Not only did they want performance apparel, they wanted garments that um, could be sublimated. So when the business started, there were a lot of people uh, imaging photo type images and, and, and that type of thing. And then um, as we got into the outdoor and recreation market, then people started wanting their own designs. Uh, they wanted um, logo. I just kicked Jackson out. Um, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um, Lord, Lord, Lord. Sorry, guys. It's early. Um, how are y'all? How are, how are all y'all doing this morning? Let me uh, let me email Jackson because um, I don't know what happened. Uh, uh, Lord, um, can you do me a favor and go? Um, can you email him? All right. Well, I tell you what, guys. Bo is gonna play around with y'all for a second. Have fun, Bo. Talk to the people. I was going to play a video or something. Okay, play a video. So I got to figure out how to do that. Okay. 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 You're still seeing those. You're still seeing those green spots in the outline. Uh, okay. Um, are you in front of your Oki Nine Twenty at the moment? I don't know. Hello, Jackson. Okay. How we doing? Good. How you doing? Uh, well, something happened. Yeah, Sprite kicked you out, so I kicked her out, and we're still live. Oh, yeah. So, oh, we're live. <laughs> yeah, hello everybody. But when I kicked Sprite out, she had the uh, the microphone. So, do you want to get back to what you were doing? Uh, yeah, I can do it. Um, okay. All right. So, um, so this is humorous. Um, okay, back to it. Not sure where I got kicked off. All I know is I just saw a bunch of other people presenting. So. Um, where I was starting with with our progression and, and the reason why I'm showing our solar shirt, this is our number one selling uh, sublimation item. We sell a lot of private label. Um, we do private label for Costa Del Mar sunglasses, Shimano, uh, G Loomis, and probably 40 or 50 other fishing brands. I know some of you watching this probably do work for other fishing brands, which is great. Love to support that. Love to support outdoors and fishing. Um, so this is our, uh, this M 700, 
this is our main product that we sell. So um, as we diversified, we um, got into doing women's garments, which again, this is a little off script because I was planning on running through the catalog, but uh, the women's garments have a raglan cut and um, we, we've adjusted the sizing the last couple of years to make it true to fit. Um, <clears throat> we've got youth, we've got um, youth hoodies. Um, and, and that, and really what we've seen is that the, the youth market is one that's underserved <clears throat> by our competitors and gives you guys an advantage because um, a lot of what we see in the market is the need for um, long sleeve women's hoodies, which we've got a men's and women's hoodie, uh, and then youth to really cover the whole family because the family unit is is, is um, in, in the retail space, in the wholesale space, in the event space. Um, it is men's, women's. It, it's really the whole family. Um, our, our hoodies that we have, uh, this is a brand that we created for the resort and destination market. We sell shirts all over the Caribbean and Florida, uh, up and down the East Coast uh, um, and in the Gulf. And um, we actually are opening up Hawaii now that, that COVID is is um, starting, to, starting to morph or change, whatever it's doing. Um, so this is one of our brand's ultra latitudes. Again, this is a, uh, our women's hoodie. Um, and uh, so this is an, an area that we're going to continue to expand. Um, well, we, one of the di differentiations we did when we, uh, after we had a successful solar business and um, had a bunch of successful customers with solar businesses, um, we realized that there was an obligation for us to um, have a sustainable side to our business. So uh, my background is the uh, fiber yarn business, and we started working with a company, Reprieve, and they have a product that's made of recycled water bottles. So um, we, we basically take a water bottle, um, and the first thing uh, that you do is, um, and we, we actually work with a local um, uh, 10K, it's the third largest 10K in the U.S., the Cooper River Bridge run here in Charleston. South Carolina. And uh, so we, we go out, uh, we work with, with the local um, municipality to gather all the water bottles. It's, it's 80, 100,000 water bottles. We then take them to a material recycling facility called a MRF, and um, they recycle them, put them on pallets, then we sell those to Reprieve. And then a byproduct that they do, they take all the um, the water bottles and chop them up into something that we call flake. Uh, and this is just basically chopped up, chopped up water bottles. Um, from there, it goes through a number of heating processes and they um, turns into what we call um, to, to pellets. And these are basically ready at this point to then make polymer and that polymer is what then makes the yarn. So um, just a really cool process that you go from water bottles to yarn to fabric and into the shirts we make. Um, so that's where we're really spending some, some R and D and effort um, to differentiate ourselves and so we've got a line of men's, women's, uh, long sleeves and hoodies that we're starting with made of this reprieve fiber. Um, so each one of these long sleeves has 16 water bottles in it. Um, we put in really neat little um, additions into the hoodies for these reprieve items. Um, if you can see here, um, we've got uh, this is the men's hoodie. It's got a hidden thumb hole. So for those of you that, that don't really want to have a, uh, something covered in your hand, you don't have to. Uh, the whole point of these shirts is to obviously to protect you from the sun. So you can, um, you can stick your thumb in it and, it and it 
pops out and protects uh, your hand from the, the harmful sun rays. Hey, hey, Jackson, do, yes. your, do your shirts run true to size or are they a little smaller or larger than average? Um, we feel they run true to size. The apparel market is, is laden with a bunch of opinions. Um, one thing that I've realized in 18 years of doing this, I cannot make everybody happy. Um, I would say if we go to um, certain parts of, of, of the states of the U.S., uh, in the fishing market, they say that our shirts could run a little tight. I know in the outdoor retail market, they say it's too big. So um, our, our thought is that we kind of fit right in the middle. Uh, we do have some people size up or down as, as since our, all our shirts come with tearaway tags. Um, but yes, we feel we, we try to run right in the middle. We, we're, we're not trying to be a, um, a lean runner, um, running type shirt. Um, we're not trying to be the Columbia, which has a, a much bigger size. So uh, we, our, our goal is to be true to size. So um, I've run through the, the solars, uh, run through the um, reprieve side of the business. Um, I want to show you now the basically the first shirt that we came out with is our basic performance tee. Um, this is made of, of what they call as um, air jet spun polyester, uh, performance polyester. Um, I didn't mention um, the technologies that go into this and, and they also go into the solars, but um, everything has a no scent technology so that they don't stink. Um, it, it used to be able to call it antimicrobial. Um, the uh, gods that be say you're not supposed to say that anymore. So it is a no scent technology that we use. Um, we also have a cooling technology. So as this fabric gets wet, the fabric cools to 70 degrees. So as you perspire, if you jump in the water with this shirt, I know when I go on the boat or the beach and it's 95 degrees in Charleston, I jump in the water with the shirt and I hop out and I've got a, basically a shirt that's at 70 degrees cooling you off. Same technology is in the, is in the basic performance tee. Um, and uh, the, bit, the, the solar has 50 plus UPF. It is approved by the Skin Cancer Foundation. Um, so that, that's something that we, we kind of hang our hat on. Uh, but the basic performance tee is, is, is great for um, uh, construction uh, jobs or um, it, it looks and feels like cotton. So we, we've really done what we feel is a great job of making shirt that, that emulates a cotton t-shirt. It is a heavier weight than what you'll find other competitors in the market. You know, Gildan and Jerseys, they come in at, I think, four, four and a half ounces. Uh, this, this shirt's a 5.9 ounce, so opacity is a big deal. Um, so that's, that is, um, that's, a, that's a big plus for this garment. We do carry it in a number of colors, and if I could share the catalog, I would show it to you, but I can't. But Condi's got all those colors on their website. Um, you, again, you can also go to wholesale.vaporapparel.com, download our catalog, and we've got a really um, easily uh, accessible Sage Flip catalog that just runs you through the products. So um, that, that's a good place to, to go um, look at our entire assortment in one place. Um, hey, Jackson, can you repeat the uh, woman's I, uh, item number on the woman's uh, shirt you showed, please? Um, so the non reprieve is the W850 long sleeve. The reprieve version is um, an R760. And I do not know the corresponding Condi part number, but that's the vapor part number. Can you, um, uh, what's the uh, web address to the catalog again? I'll drop it in the comments. Yep, it's wholesale.vaporapparel.com. And you'll you, right at the top says catalog. You click on it, and it's this uh, interactive catalog. Got it. Thank you. Yep. So we've covered our, our sun protection shirts, our solar, our reprieve solar, um, our basic T, uh, basic performance T. Um, we do have that short and long sleeve. Uh, for those of you who have been customers uh, for a while you know that um, we we have an ash heather 
uh, that has been very popular. We have been out for better part of six or eight months. Those actually are coming in next week. Um, we had supply chain issues, fun stuff, world we live in. Uh, so we will have our, our popular Ash Heather uh, back for the month of August. So hopefully um, that is something that, that for those of you that have been missing that, uh, that is now going to be available. Um, so here we are end of July, um, getting ready to get into, we actually, on, on our side, we're already thinking about fall. Uh, we're thinking about back to school, um, Labor Day, football, um, uh, football season, all, all, all that stuff is coming. So we need some cooler weather gear. Um, we have a, um, a hoodie. This is made of, again, a spun, so it looks and feels like cotton. Uh, it is about a 10 ounce fabric, and that may sound heavy to many of you who know fabric weights, uh, but polyester doesn't bulk like cotton, so we have to make it a, a heavier fabric. Uh, but we do have this in white and ash heather. Um, again, past few years, we've had supply chain issues. We actually have these that will be available um, 1st of September. So we will be ready for uh, Q3, uh, backside Q3 and Q4 business. But we have white and ash heather in these. So um, when these are in stock, they do, we, we've done very well, and we're poised to be ready for the season. Um, we also have um, a new item out. It's not new, but um, it was kind of launched during COVID, so I'm not sh sure how many people um, really saw it, tried it, used it, but we've got a 9010 quarter zip. Um, this has a, uh, a rubber uh, zip. It's, it's a great weight. I think it's about a seven ounce fabric. Um, it really works well. And, and so we're, where we're going with our um, brand and, and retail sales is we're transitioning this garment from a um, sun protection garment, which from March to August, it does an extremely good job out on the water, out in the heat. Uh, when you get into the fall, this turns into a base layer. Um, we've got customers that sell these all over to ski resorts as a base layer, uh, to, to Vail, um, a Breckenridge, Jackson Hole, a uh, slew of, 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 retail, of uh, ski resorts on the West Coast, also on the East Coast and Northeast, uh, Stowe, Killington, uh, those resorts, and, and really all throughout the Appalachian Mountains uh, in the fall, uh, we, we do a very good business with our solars. And this has been added as a, as a second piece. We've got these in um, four colors. We've got a pearl gray, which is excellent for sublimation. This carbon, which we actually screen print, but I believe Condi, and I'm not up to speed on all the um, heat applied transfer technologies, but I believe Condi has some uh, heat applied transfer technologies that work very well on these um, as, as our garments are designed for sublimation and the high heat which I'm going to get to in a minute. I'm going to uh, press some shirts for you guys. Um, most heat applied transfers um, that we do sublimation around 375, 380 are um, <clears throat> well south of that temperature. So um, they do work great. And then you get into fall and people do like a darker color. Um, so we've got the pearl gray, carbon, an arctic blue. Um, and then we're coming out with a slate color that will be available in mid-September. Um, so these are a good item to, to, to start thinking about for your customers for this fall. Um, I believe I've covered most um, of everything. Uh, you know, during COVID, um, we had, uh, we've been selling gators for 15 years. Um, we are starting to see a resurgence of gator business. Uh, we sold, I'm sure many of you sold a lot of face coverings and gators through the pandemic. Uh, now we're starting to see people, um, our customers, our ultra latitudes customers, they are ordering gators just because of the functionality uh, for the sun protection. So people don't get sun on their necks uh, to cover their face when they're out on the boat, when they're fishing. Um, so that is something that is, um, and, and what, what, what the pandemic did, we used to just sell white. Um, now we have, um, I think probably six or seven different colors. And rather than having to use all your ink to, to color an entire garment, 
Now you could just spot hit a logo if it's for a company. So uh, you should be able to get um, get a lower price, lower cost uh, price on it. So you can be sharper on price. Um, so let's see. That is you covered. Let me just take a peek at our catalog. Make sure I did not forget anything. Um, yeah, let me go back to our um, our reprieve offering, and this is something that um, it's it's a it's a newer product for us. Um, it's actually not a newer product for us. It is an item that um, find it. This is made of Reprieve. It is our 200 mile tea. Um, it does sublimate. Um, it is made of 50% Reprieve, 37% Modal, um, which is, comes from a, um, a beech tree in, in Austria. So it comes from Lensing, which is a, 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 a fiber manufacturer. It's got a real buttery hand. It's naturally um, uh, no stink, naturally wicking. So these are performance garments. It's a very light and airy tri-blend. So again, it's 50% reprieve, polyester, 37% modal, 13% cotton. And we actually manufacture within a 200 mile radius. So um, we're finding a lot of, and it's made in USA. So when we have customers that come to us right now, we sell a lot to national parks. Um, we're also selling um, to a little bit into the collegiate world. And uh, so, so there's a lot of people out there that need a made in USAT. These shirts are not cheap, but they are a, a great garment. Um, it is a newer item that I, I don't believe Connie has picked up, but it's one that um, it's a premium garment because it is made in USA and, and made with Reprieve. But um, the hand is, is buttery soft. It's a 3.5 ounce fabric, which is a very light, airy fabric. And we've got these in short and long sleeves. Um, so this is something that will be available this fall, and uh, we're doing extremely well with it. So just wanted to show that. And again, it, it, it's showing our commitment as a company to sustainability and figuring out the, um, the right thing to, to do. And, and uh, there's not one thing, one, we couldn't switch all our products to Reprieve because they're more expensive. Many of you would price you out of the market, but we, we're starting and, and, and building our line. Uh, as so that we're ready as the market changes and wherever the market decides to go. Um, a couple other things um, on the women's side, we have expanded our women's offerings. So we are offering um, uh, cover-up dresses. Um, we do have these in different um Patterns. So we've got uh, some with like a floral pattern. We did an embossed on it, and we have some just the regular solar. Um, and then we do have sun wraps and sarongs. I did not have a sample here, uh, but you'll see them in our catalog. So, um, so that is pretty much our apparel offering. I don't know, Sprite. Were there any questions on that you saw? I think uh, a lot of people just want to see you press one. Um, I do have, uh, is, do you have a full zip hoodie? We do not have a full zip hoodie. Nope. No, we had one, uh, I think, seven or eight years ago, and it just, it, it was priced out of the market. We didn't sell very many of them, so we had to discontinue it. What's <clears> the <throat> largest size shirt that you offer? Uh, in the basic performance tee, we go to um, in white and ash heather, we go to 5X. Uh, on these solars, we go to 4X. On the reprieve, we go to 3X. Okay. Uh, that's it. Okay. All right. We are going to get to pressing. Let me adjust this a little bit. So um, we sell a foam kit, and that's what we're uh, giving away at the um, um, that we're giving away for the open house, and um, so our in our foam kit we give instructions on how to press, um, how to properly set set the, um, the press up. Um, it's very important 
when we um, when you set up is to calibrate your machine every day. Um, there are um, these heat presses. Sometimes they get inconsistent, but if you don't make sure, so we always um, keep old shirts, scrap shirts, messed up shirts. And the first thing we do we, when every press station in our shop, when we um, uh, start a day is each press, you calibrate it in. So you might have a different operator using a different press. You might have um, any number of conditions that can happen. But the first thing we do is, is, is uh, make sure that the press is the right temperature. Um, you know, pressing, as, as, as many or most of you know, is uh, uh, a dialing in process of time, temperature, and pressure. Um, Vapor, we recommend on the solar and all these instructions are in our foam kit. We recommend, I believe, 75 degrees on, on the solar and three, sorry, 375 and then 385, 390 on the basic tee, sweatshirts. They can handle a little bit higher temperature. Basically, it's the type of yarn that can handle the different type of heat. So, um, so after you calibrate your press um, and, and get it dialed in, um, we're ready to set the press up. So if you have just a regular um, press that, that hasn't been dressed before, the first thing we do is, in the foam kit comes with some Teflon, which I'm not sure that's Condi's recommended um, uh, way to press, but it's what we recommend. So everybody's got a little bit different solution here. Um, but we um, first thing we do is take, take the foam. So um, this is a little cut piece of foam. This is what I would use for a left chest. So it's very important that you make the foam um, bigger than the image, but smaller than the paper. Okay. So um, for the image that I'm going to press, which is our um, color wheel. So it'll show you just, uh, we, we do this to see, we want to show customers how our colors will match up so that they can pick colors for their designs. We like to print this color wheel because the color will change as the inks are translucent. They'll change from one, from a white garment to an Arctic blue garment to a uh, pearl gray garment, so on and so forth. And some of our colors, as you can see, you know, this is our, um, uh, our pink uh, garment and you can get a nice output, but it's not going to pop as nice. But that being said, um, you're able to sell a pink garment and, and the consumers want variety and, and that's what we've, we've, we've uh, strived to provide. Um, so as you can see with this image that I've got, um, you've got this image. The foam is larger than the image and smaller than the paper. And that's super important because you want to have the image small enough so that it's covered on the foam, but you want the paper draping off of the edge because the paper will cause a, uh, a, a basically a, a, a tension point with the fabric. That's what causes your line. So when you have this like this, there's nowhere for the garment, there's nowhere for the garment to have a tension point with the paper. So um, when you are prepping, let me get this set back up. When you are prepping your foam, and this would be again for a left chest, um, what you do is you, you, you cut it down and then it's super important um, because you really don't want any tension point on the fabric, especially on the solar fabric, because it, it can easily get um, uh, cause a, a press mark. But if you'll see what I'm doing here, then you bevel the edges. And it doesn't have to be clean. It doesn't have to be pretty. Really, what you want at the end of the day, if I can get this right and turn it that way, you can see there's a slope to the edge. So you do that to all four corners, and that would be my left chest. So then as I'm pressing this garment, you put it down, you put the paper on top, and um, 
And there you have it. So um, let me get a garment. So this is our um, W350 women's short sleeve. Um, it's a raglan garment. So I'm just going to lay the shirt down. Um, no need to dress the press. Um, hey, take, yes. Can you uh, put your uh, camera down a little bit so we can see the press? Let me see what I can do. Thank you. There we go. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. So, um, again, I've got my press here. I've got my foam under it. We like to use heat tape to, so got my foam. I've got my um, Teflon, got my heat tape, and now I've got a dress press ready to rock and roll. Um, I lay the garment down. I have calibrated this press already this morning before we got on here. Um, we take our image, we lay it down. Um, I am not going to take much care in lining it up. Uh, well, maybe I'll do that. So um, what you've got here is you kind of feel where the press is and uh, or where the, where the uh, foam is. And so I know that I've got kind of one edge over here, one edge over here, and I've got a nice print. Uh, I've lined it up. Um, and let's see. So I am making sure that the entire graphic is on the foam, and I hope I do a good job. Um, so you feel all the way around, this is tacky paper, and we like uh, in vapor, we like using tacky paper because it, it, it allows, it doesn't move around and cause ghosting because ghosting can cause a ruined shirt and cost you money. Um, so this is set. Um, I'm going to go back to um, what I normally talk about in the 30 seconds while it's pressing. Um, the and most of you know this, if not all of you, sublimation is where um, the transformation from uh, solid into a gas at this at minimum 370 degrees, if the inks fire and the sublimation, the polyester dye sites on the shirt open up, the ink goes into the shirt. And basically once this is done, sorry for the loud noise, um, it is sublimated into the graphic. We then pull this off. And I've got a shirt with no press lines, no scorch marks because I pressed it at 370 degrees. So um, this is a garment other than the graphic would be a retail sellable garment. And we do this all day, every day. We sell retailers. We sell um, all over um, resort, outdoor retail market. So um, it is a proven concept. It is a proven process. Any questions? Um, Jackson, do you, uh, where, where can they get that color wheel from? Um, we can get that to you guys. So um, I, uh, we, we've got it. We're happy to get that to you guys. Um, if you would, I'm, I'm sorry, if, if you would email it to me, then um, I can post it in the chat and, um, and they can get it. Uh, then I can send it to them. Um, okay. Hold on. Let me they, press uh, I don't have it. Somebody printed it for me. Well, you, you don't have to do it right now. We can do it. Oh, I think we'll put it in the chat. Okay. Gotcha. Um, do you, uh, can they see the back of that shirt, please? And what was the time in the temp that you used? Um, I didn't set this machine up. It's at 380. It may be that they calibrated it um, and figured 380 will work. You know, it, when you're dialing this in, uh, again, each press is different. 
Um, and that's why we recommend use a heat gun to understand where your temperature is. Um, the highest temperature you can get away with, the better. Uh, and you can actually lower your dwell time. Uh, dwell time on this uh, was 34 seconds. I think in production, once we, because I had somebody come and set this press up for me this morning, um, in production, we're actually uh, running around 26, 27 seconds uh, once we get, get a uh, press dialed in. And if you think about it, if you're running hundreds of shirts a day, that adds up, especially if you're doing a front hit, a back hit, a sleeve hit. Um, that's that's time. And time is money in this industry. So um, I have a lot of people that are surprised that it didn't bleed through to the back. And uh, that's one thing that I love about the vapor shirts. Uh, you don't have to put the paper in between them. Um, you don't really get the ink going through from the front to the back or even on the inside. That's correct. Yep. And, and it really has to do with um, it goes into how we make the garments. Um, when when we when I developed this fabric 18 years ago, um, well, the solar about 12 years ago, um, we we developed it with heat in mind because sublimation is not very friendly to to fabrics. Um, most of our competitors, if not all of them, sublimation is, is kind of a secondary um, yeah, oh, great. It's polyester. I can sublimate on it. Well, sure. You can get ink on it, but um, you're going to struggle with blow through. You're going to struggle with um, um, uh, sheen. A lot of shirts get sheen because they're not manufactured um, for, for sublimation. Um, and so, that, you know, that, that's something that is inherent in our garments. We've also have a lot of screen print customers. I don't know if there's any screen printers on here. Um, but when you screen print our garments, you have to use, I'm not sure that it's a special performance, uh, plastisol, um, but you do not have to adjust the temperature in your, in your, in your heat tunnel. So a lot of screen printers, they'll charge extra, uh, for screen printing on, on polyester garments. And I, I do believe the plastisol is more, but they've got to like stop their process. So if they're running cotton shirt, cotton shirt, cotton shirt, and they've got a performance job, they literally have to stop, cool the dryer down, run their job, then heat it back up so they can get back to the cotton job. So um, so that's another asset to, to our garments. And, and that flows, that general philosophy of how we manufacture garments goes from the basic tees to the, to the quarter zips, to the solars, the reprieves, everything. And um, how long does the vapor uh, apply I'm sorry, how long does the vapor foam last? You know, I, I, we get a lot of mileage out of it. Uh, I think we sell, so it's like you get in the foam kit, you get something like 13.2 square feet of it. Um, it it's um, I, I, a long time. There are people who um, want to change it out after a couple hundred presses, but but we get a lot of mileage out of it. And so what happens is it will start to compress, which is another reason why you have to dial in your, your, your press every morning because it starts out nice and nice and thick and, and squishy. And, um, you know, this one, uh, this was a production press. So you can see over time it is, it does compress, but I just pressed the perfect garment there. Um, oh, what, what sticky paper did you use? Uh, it, it's just tack paper. I don't get me into the brand and who, cause I don't know. Um, <laughs> but it is, we, there's regular non-tack and there's tack and that's what copy is there for. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Um, do you know what kind of printer it was printed off of? Um, we use a roller. A Roland. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Large so more than like, more than likely, it's probably the beaver tacky on a roll. So, yeah. I know we have used beaver in the past. Um, not sure what we're using today. Okay. Um, let's see. I got a lot of questions. Um, oh, um, are you guys? They 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 see the hats in the back. Um, are yes. you guys gonna offer any more hats? So um, our hats weren't really that successful. Uh, we have a, par a partner, American Backcountry, that sells in the national parks. 
and um, with with supply chain yet again, hats doubled in price, and it just made it not worth the effort. Um, so we don't have any hats. You know, really, what what these are? Um, this screen messes me up. These are our branded seize the ray, and so that I, I do spend one minute on it. Um, we have over the last two years, we've had our ultra latitudes brand for about eight or nine years. Um, last couple of years we've rebranded what some of you see when you go to vaporapparel.com, you'll see vapor elemental wear. Um, we are actively um, going into direct consumer. Uh, we've been selling our garments on Amazon for 10 years, you know, so that same M 700 shirt, we sell retail on Amazon for twenty one ninety five. So, you know, what, what we're doing is trying to build our brand equity. Um, on our website, this Seize the Ray shirt is $35. We're selling to retailers at $18.50. So, um, and they are MSRPing uh, the garments at $35, $40, even $45. So what we're, what we're trying to do is build brand equity. Uh, Seize the Ray is our trademark um, uh, slogan, and, and basically it, it is um, uh, really showing our focus on the outdoor and and going outside, wearing our gear, wear our gear, stay out longer, and 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 um, that's 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 where our brand messaging is going. Um, a little tidbit: uh, we are going to be the official apparel sponsor for bowl season. For college football this fall. So as every football team gets bowl eligible, they win their sixth game, they'll get 125 Eco Soul, which is our Reprieve Solar uh, garments that say bowl bound with the team's logo on it. And then we'll be selling more of those athletic departments. We have them online at bowl season. Uh, so go check out bowlseason.com and you'll see a little bit more there. What they rebranded the whole bowl structure uh, to try to emulate what March Madness has done. So, um, so again, we're working hard. We're, we're spending marketing dollars to try to build equity in the brand so that when you guys use our garments, you can say, well, this is a vapor apparel garment and, and, and see where, and you can point to online how much you can get it retail for. So to help you get more margin. So I just wanted to add that out there because I think it's a very important part of why our garment, I understand it's more expensive than our competition, but there are reasons, not only functional reasons, but uh, branded reasons. Well, that's actually, that's really cool. And I will say that, um, you know, we're in Alabama and your the long sleeve solar shirts. Um, I mean, we, we sell so many of them. Uh, I use them when I go to the beach. I've made my friends all of the long sleeve because they have the SPF in them. Uh, they're great for fishing shirts. Um, I absolutely, absolutely love the Vapor Apparel line, so. Well, thank you, Sprite, I appreciate it. Well, thank you, Jackson. Um, so we're almost done for the class, and um, I do want to go ahead and announce the two winners of the Vapor Foam Kit. So um, Tiffany Lundy and Joan Hansen, congratulations. Um, if you guys would please email me, swood at condi.com. I'll drop my email in the uh, chat. So that is Tiffany Lundy and Joan Hansen. Send me an email and um, I will send you guys a, a vapor foam kit. So Jackson, thank you again. This was great. Everybody, uh, they are, you're getting a lot of thank yous. And um, so, yeah, thanks again for being just, you know, a continued supporter of Condi. Well, no, I appreciate y'all's support and appreciate you giving us the opportunity to talk about our product. Appreciate everybody's business out there and, and, um, um, good luck and hope everybody has a good weekend. All right. Thank you, Jackson. All right. Bye. Thanks, buddy.